Guardian whole life insurance contract. Whole life is the preferred product to practice the infinite banking concept. Now, you may have a different opinion about that, and that's totally fine. The other option, the other product that some people try or, or to do infinite banking with that concept is with an index universal life insurance policy. Okay. I choose not to agree with that as my opinion. It's, it just doesn't work for me based on the information, the research that I've done so far, as well as looking at many of the industry leaders in the space that also prefer to do infinite banking with a whole life insurance contract. But before I go any further, let me share with you all of the marketing terms that are used in this space so that you don't get confused. And I'm going to simplify it for you, right? I'm going to simplify it for you. So understand infinite banking, those two words is a marketing term. There is no proprietary product, you know, that this one agency has. No, no, no. Those are just marketing terms. We're all using two products, either a whole life insurance contract with a mutually held insurance company, right? A mutual whole life insurance company, not a stock insurance company. So that's important or an index universal life insurance policy. That is what you will hear all across the social media space. So they'll say infinite banking and they're either using whole life or they're using IUL or they're using both. So those are just, those are just the two products. That's it. Whole life index universal life. Put that in your notes. Any marketing term that gets used is just referring to that. Those one of those two products, right? So not to create any confusion there. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And I'm just going to share with you all of the marketing terms that get used. So let me go ahead and like this. All right. So infinite banking marketing terms. Some people have trademarked these terms. That doesn't mean that that provider, that agency is designing a proprietary product. Impossible. There's nothing proprietary about anything regarding whole life insurance or IUL. Those products are coming directly from the insurance companies. Anyone that has the education can design the customer is looking for when they want to practice infinite banking. So when we talk about infinite banking marketing terms or strategies, that's just additional selling points, features and benefits of working with that particular agent or agency. So you got infinite banking concept, you got become your own banker, bank on yourself, private banking, tax free banking, cash flow banking, dynamic banking, your own family bank, sacred account, master account, investment grade insurance contract. These are all the marketing terms that you will hear an agent say, and that essentially separates themselves. It creates uniqueness. It creates, you know, it's a selling point. It's attractive, all those different things. What they are saying behind all of that is either going to be a whole life insurance contract or a index universal life insurance contract. Now there's different types of funding when it comes to a whole life. So whenever you're looking at an illustration, you might see these terms L100, L95, 10 pay, 20 pay, 30 pay, et cetera, et cetera, right? Those are basically just different ways of funding a whole life insurance contract, but at the end of the day, it's still a whole life, right? And then you'll typically see these companies. You will most likely receive illustrations when you're working with an agent with these companies, Mass Mutual, Guardian, Penn Mutual, Lafayette, One America. Um, and then there, there's a couple of more. I didn't put them all there. Right, I think uh, you've got you've got Security Mutual is one, right? And if you know if you know of another company that your agent use with your existing life insurance policy, you can put that in the comments. But these are the most popular ones for sure, without a doubt. Mass, Guardian, Penn, Lafayette, One America. I have typically seen these to be the most popular used in the in the space, and there's good reason for that. There's good reason for that where you're talking with an agent. They'll, they'll explain what those reasons are. Here are all the infinite banking players on YouTube specifically, right? These people are probably on different um, social media profiles, different channels and whatnot. I just simply did my marketing research specifically looking at YouTube because YouTube is the place where you'll most likely get a very, very in-depth case study, right? You'll get a really, really nice case study. You'll get, a, you'll get in-depth 
information, 30, 40, 50, one hour, two hour plus long videos where they where they break this stuff down. So you got Steven Gardner, good friend of mine, Chris Crone, he's mostly in, in real estate, but talks about whole life and how he's used it. You got VIP financial education, you got the Quack Brothers, uh, seven figure squad, you got Wealth Nation, Okay, now these numbers are old numbers. I gotta update them. All these people have more subscribers than what I'm putting here. These are these are old, old numbers. So don't look at that. You got Garrett Gunderson, you got Doug Andrew, you got myself. See, old numbers, 38K. All right, I'm at over 50 now. You got Chris Kirkpatrick, all right, Life 180. All right, let me just put the name of his channel there, 180. And there's some people on this list that I left out. I didn't know at the time in my marketing research. So no, no, uh, there was no ill intent there, right? I just simply don't know you, right? This is just what came up when I did my marketing research. Yeah, IBC Global, The Money Advantage, Curtis Ray. You got the Nelson Nash Institute. So within the Nelson Nash Institute, there's probably a lot of individual agents or YouTubers that have content. So I just put all those people under the Nelson Nash Institute because they're most like those agents went through the Nelson Nash Institute to become an infinite banking practitioner. So the Nelson Nash Institute is a school, right? To help agents become better practitioners of the infinite banking concept. And so I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of YouTubers that I'm missing out here. So if you're watching, whatever the case may be, again, no ill intent, just trying to make a summarized list here. Same goes for this marketing term right here, bank on yourself, okay? Bank on yourself is also another institute where an agent can learn infinite banking concept, becoming their own banker. And there's a, probably a good amount of YouTubers, content creators, individual agents creating content, right? You got Oregon Cashflow Pro, I know him, good guy. You got James Nethery, you've got Banking Truths. You got Caleb, good friend of mine. We recently partnered up in the last year. He's doing great, again, old numbers. You got Jerry Feta, Kim Butler, and there's others, okay? Then you've got the infinite banking books, books that you can read on this concept, become your own banker, building your warehouse of wealth, the and asset that was written by Caleb, become your own banker that was written by Nelson Nash. You got money, wealth, life insurance, you got the case for IBC, what would the Rockefellers do? That was written by Garrett Gunderson, killing sacred cows, Garrett Gunderson, live your life insurance, All right? Cool stuff.